Chinese.io. Incorporated could be a Chinese company. It focuses on the look, manufacture, and sale of electrical vehicles, EVs. Therefore, investors may even see NIO stock as an honest alternative play to Tesla. Of course, Tesla is the famed EV manufacturer, headed by the controversial mogul Elon Musk. Investment U expert and Man WordPress founder Andy Snyder call NIO the Tesla of China. But Tesla will cost you over a whopping $800 for one share. On the opposite hand, NIO could be an unlisted stock, and it sells for a mere $3 on the Big Apple Exchange. So is NIO stock a decent buy for investors? Or will purchasing shares buy you an electrical lemon? Before we try and answer that question with our friend Andy Snyder, let's dive into a touch more background on the stock itself. Hello everyone and welcome back to TechZen. Today we are going to talk about NIO stocks and lead a class action lawsuit related to it. Are you ready to know? So without delaying any further, let's get started. But before that, please hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new updates from our channel. Investors made a typical mistake, investing in what it's increasing, regardless of how high the valuations are, and thinking that the value is going to be higher in the future. When it involves investing in an exceeding company, it's not enough to know what that company does and during which sector it operates. But it is also fundamental to research the company's financial statements and try to create reasonable assumptions about the long-run fair price. If your beliefs don't seem reasonable, your analysis is worth zero, and you've probably overpaid the company's growth, ending up with a loss. Even though NIO is growing exponentially, this does not mean that you simply should be willing to shop for this company regardless of its worth. Everything may be too expensive, even the best company ever. Now let's understand the case allegations. NIO designs, develop, manufactures, and sells smart electric vehicles. It purports to differentiate itself through technological breakthroughs and innovations, like its battery swapping technologies, iBattery as a service, and proprietary autonomous driving technologies, including autonomous driving as a service. The NIO lawsuit alleges that the defendants didn't disclose that. One, NIO pulled forward revenue by selling batteries to a related party, which owned the batteries and managed users' subscriptions. Two, through the related party, NIO also recognized enormous depreciation savings. And three, as a result, NIO's revenue and net loss were overstated. On June 28, 2022, Grizzly Research LLC published a report alleging, among other things, that NIO inflated its profit by about 95% through sales to a related party, Wuhan Whining Battery Asset Company Limited. On this news, the value of NIO American Depository Shares, ABS, fell by approximately 2.5%. Then, on July 11, 2022, NIO announced that it formed a special committee to oversee an investigation into the allegations within the Grizzly Research Report. On this news, the worth of NIO ADS fell by nearly 9%, further damaging investors. Now comes the lead plaintiff process. The Private Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995 permits any investor who purchased or acquired NIO securities during the category period to hunt appointment as lead plaintiff. A lead plaintiff is usually the movement with the best financial interest within the relief sought by the putative class who is additionally typical and adequate of the putative class. A lead plaintiff acts on behalf of all other class members in directing the NIO cause lawsuit. The lead plaintiff can select a business firm of its option to litigate the NIO lawsuit. An investor's ability to share in any potential future recovery isn't dependent upon serving as the lead plaintiff of the NIO case lawsuit. What is Robbins Geller? Robbins Geller is one of the world's leading complex case firms, representing plaintiffs in securities fraud cases. The firm is ranked number one on the 2021 ISS Securities Cause Services Top 50 report for recovering nearly $2 billion for investors last year alone, quite triple the quantity recovered by the other plaintiff's firm. With 200 lawyers in nine offices, Robbins Geller is one of the biggest plaintiff's firms in the world, and also the firm's attorneys have obtained many of the biggest securities case recoveries in history including the biggest securities lawsuit recovery ever, $7.2 billion, in Enri Enron Corporation securities litigation. Now let's understand how NIO stocks are doing in the market. NIO released its second quarter financial statement. NIO stock remains losing money, but the losses weren't as high as Wall Street analysts were expecting. During the fiscal second quarter, NIO lost 16 cents per American share, rather than the 26 cents per share investors were bracing themselves for. 
The company's revenue reached $526.4 million, which also beat estimates of $504 million. All in all, the income statement showed that NIO stock seems to air the road to recovery after running into income issues earlier this year. But although most analysts seemed pleased, the stock still fell after the earnings call. Is NIO the Tesla of China, as many of us believe, or do you have to put your money elsewhere? Let's examine three pros and three cons of investing in NIO stock. Pros of investing in NIO stock. The first is increased deliveries. During the second quarter, NIO delivered 10,331 vehicles, which could be a 191% increase from a year earlier. In keeping with CEO William Bin Lee, the corporate is increasing its production and customer demand remains strong. The current constraints on production are lifted within the near future, and we are confident that our production capacity can meet the accelerated demand of our models," Lee explained. And CFO Wei Feng credited the company's substantial delivery numbers to increased efficiency and better cost control. The next one is improved cash flow. Early in 2020, NIO bumped into significant income problems. Bloomberg reported that the corporate ended up paying its employees six days late and asked if they'd take bonuses within the variety of stock units. Fortunately, this example has improved considerably for NIO. In June, the corporate received an oversized cash infusion from Tencent Holdings. As of the top of June, NIO had quite $1.6 billion in cash and equivalents, and last is a positive third quarter outlook. The corporate doesn't believe its second quarter growth was a fluke. Management is expecting the expansion to continue into the third quarter yet. NIO expects to deliver between 11,000 and 11,500 vehicles during the third quarter, and it expects total revenue to fall between $572.9 million and $596.2 million. This might be an enormous improvement from where the corporate was just a year earlier. Cons of investing in NIO stock The first one is that shares are overvalued. NIO stock is up over 322% from a year earlier, which is dear to traditional valuation metrics. That's why Goldman Sachs analyst Fei Fang gave the corporate a sell rating, although he did have some goodies to mention about the corporate. Fang tends to be more cautious when it involves NIO stock. In July, the analyst said the company's improved valuation reflects over-optimism. The second one is that company is not profitable. Things seem to be turning around for NIO but it's impossible to overlook the very fact that the corporate still isn't profitable. And though profitably does seem to be in its future, it'll likely take a long time for the corporate to urge there. And the last one is that the momentum might not last. A year earlier, analysts were unsure whether NIO would go bankrupt or not. It's encouraging to determine the company's growth, but it remains to be seen whether the corporate can sustain this momentum over the long term. Mid the COVID-19 pandemic, an indication of hope just emerged for NIO. NIO 5.64% stock. Faced with mounting losses, the maker of electrical vehicles, EVs, had struggled to achieve traction in better conditions. Also, with its current funding nearly exhausted, the corporate needed a cash infusion quickly. Fortunately, NIO just secured 7 billion renminbi, $989 million, worth of backing from investment group. However, with massive financial losses set to continue, and a harsh competitive landscape with which to contend, NIO stock may only see limited get pleasure from this investment. Overall, NIO is in a very good financial position at once. Its sales are rising, the corporate reached an all-time delivery high, and its shares are up 231% a year so far. However, the stock is overvalued, and NIO has yet to prove it can maintain this type of growth over the long run. No stock could also be an honest investment, but it's still a risky investment. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.